Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 238. I'm Ryan, joined by my brother Chris and our good pal, Katrin, and a special hey hello on. to all of those on YouTube watching us right now for our live show. Thank you for joining us on YouTube. If you're not listening to us live, you should check us out on YouTube at I Am Geek Show on YouTube for our live show every every Thursday night is when we, <laughs> we try to do it around um 9 15 central time so that'd be 10 15 eastern time and then whatever that would be pacific time <laughs> probably eating dinner still i don't know probably earlier than that i don't know i always get confused anyways you, nobody ever says mountain time those poor mountain time people mountain time just get, get skipped over like eastern pacific but no mountain time cares. no one cares about mountain time <laughs> We care. Just in the mountains. They they don't have like like internets or Mm-mm. they don't TV, radio or anything or in indoor plumbing actually I think too. yeah oh. no shoes don't think they have wow. shoes do they have gum shoes uh, uh, I mean yes. they have gum shoes stuck to the bottom of their feet <laughs> and that becomes their shoe I guess <laughs> we love you mountain time people <laughs> that's right all of you that listen <laughs> don't add us <laughs> don't that's what the kids say. That's what the kids say. Oh, man. It's been a crazy week here. We're still in the middle of construction. It was supposed to be done by now, but it's still going on. So I'm losing my mind. I'm in my – my kids are out of town. They're in Alabama um, with my wife. So I'm held up in my son's room because it's the only room that I can get in. But it's got all my stuff. I'm I'm <laughs> working in here. I'm sleeping in here. I'm like in this little, it's like COVID time, uh, the second coming of COVID. I'm stuck in this room. You got a little bucket for you in there? Yeah. You know. <laughs> but soon they're going to be ripping out the stairs, so I won't even be able to like get down the stairs. Or maybe I should not get up the stairs. Maybe I should stay down there. <laughs> but anyway, so it's been crazy. Um, for some reason, I've been watching a lot of the Johnny Depp trial, which I don't know why, but it's like better than most stuff on tv right now yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> it's a distraction right <laughs> let's yeah. Just, yeah let's just say they don't have to make a movie of this just piece together the best parts of the trial and that's all you need yeah because mm-hmm. it's wild what? yeah i, I kind of wish the people that did the staircase uh the documentary on that came and did a documentary on this one this one would have been <laughs> the more entertaining I don't know what that is, but I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a horrible, all, horrible trial. <laughs> uh, have, have you all seen the um, the videos where they have Jason Momoa in on a, yes. like a video feed? <laughs> oh, it started. Uh, hold on here. <laughs> <laughs> Those are hilarious. And then, of it's, course, the the dog stepping on the bee is is I dog on the bee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's ter- I don't want to think about it either, but yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't make fun, but it's no, we should. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's and some of the expert witnesses. I'm like, I'm pretty sure, and it's already somebody already said it online, but I'm pretty sure one of the expert witnesses on the herd team is actually a real life Dr. Doofenshmirtz from Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Looks like him, acts like him. Dan Paul like even took his voice and dubbed over the dude. <laughs> And it was just like, yeah, this is a real life Dr. Duver smart. This is the world we live in, people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the world we live in. But, <laughs> anyways, so we'll, 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 the world is crazy right now. Prayers go out to everything that's going on. It's, it's wild. So we're going to try to give you this hour just to sort of relax, have fun as we talk about uh, two chipmunks. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> <laughs> the Chip and Dale, but not those Chip and Dale. If you, th- if you hear the words Chip and Dale, what do you normally think of? <laughs> I had to fast forward through that part. Just for the kids. <laughs> for the um, kids. I was like, eh. I don't know super about quick. That. All you had to do was go, hey, look at me. And then <laughs> over I just started the movie right after that, so they didn't even see that. Anyways, but before we get to that, really fast, this is my big this is my big thing. Star Wars celebration has begun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's on if you can't be there like me, because I just couldn't afford to go to California. Oh. Um 
you can go on the Star Wars YouTube channel and they're doing they're basically live streaming the whole thing. So you can watch the panels, you can watch um, all the fun stuff going on, the trailers that come out. And you don't have to pay for it. It's free. You don't have to fly there. You don't have to have to pay for a ticket. Um, so that's cool. So I've been watching that today. So they've dropped an Andor trailer. They dropped a Willow trailer. Which um, is weird because it's Star Wars. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. It's their answer to uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I guess it's Lucasfilm. So they're like, because they also teased Indiana Jones. Yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, then I think there was something else that wasn't. Star Wars, but it's Lucasfilm, so I guess that's how they're getting away with it. They should have just called it Lucasfilm Celebration, so Star Wars Celebration. <laughs> they had like the whole the cast thing. of Willow, so it's like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, they they did a sit down with the whole cast of Willow and had a big long. That's funny. Thing about I, I say foul. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, next year we should have a Willow convention right here. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, okay. <laughs> well, they probably had Warwick Davis like hosting several other panels there already. Probably. But it was That's a cool, cool panel. It's cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I guess they're going to do more than one season because oh, they be cool. me- they mentioned in the panel thing that um, Mad Mardigan Mardigan is that what it's Mardigan. So. Something like that. Mardigan. Val Kilmer's Matt, Matt, Mardigan. Mardigan. Matt Mardigan. That he's not Matt, in the first season. Matt, but... Matt Mardigan? <laughs> no. Matt Mardigan. Matt Mardigan. Attorney of Law. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Mad it's, Mardigan. It's Mad Mardigan or something like it's that. It's Mad. Yeah. 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 Mad Mardigan. Yeah. Um, it's the last name that I, I kept wanting to say Mad Max. Uh, that he's not in the first season, but they hope to have him in the second and that they've been in talks with them, and I guess maybe something's going to be in about it, but they said nobody will replace him. It's always going to be Val Kilmer. So. Nice. And he wanted to be there today for the panel, but couldn't. So maybe he is in it somehow. They're just not saying it. Was, was Batman there, too? Batman. Just, which one? Oh, well, if Batman was there, then yeah. Oh, that. He couldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, they had a Batman panel. <laughs> so yeah, that's why Val Kilmer wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot going on. The Andor trailer, I thought was excellent. Yeah, it got me so excited. Yeah, it was really the. It looked really good. Like we've been talking about how the, the Disney shows, like the Marvel shows, have been really well produced and looked really good, like a big long movie, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what yeah. this looks like. But it also looks even though it looks Star Warsy, it still doesn't look like everything else, right? It still looks a little different, and there's some new things that we've never seen before in this, and I think that's yeah. what's cool about it. I, th- I think it's going to be another de- almost depressing series. Yeah. Though. Oh, <laughs> kind of has to be. Because it's like, <laughs> it's cool, though. well, he's he made it out of that one. <laughs> but he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't make it out. <laughs> for long. We know there's going to be two seasons of it at least. They've already said oh, two wow. seasons. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, but this is taken back because the stormtroopers you see are actually clone. It's not stormtroopers. It's clone troopers that you see. And they mm-hmm. fly in on the clone trooper like ships. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. So it's, it's taking it back to basically right probably when – Clone Wars was ending, and now mm-hmm. their Order Six Six has been done, and they're still in those. It's not Stormtroopers; it's still Clone still Troopers. switching them out. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm very interested. Mm. And yeah. for the for the um, Star Wars bounding people or Batu bounding or whatever you want to call, it, somebody mentioned, "Oh look, there's a person in there that's wearing a hoodie, so that makes hoodies canon, so we can wear hoodies as part of our costumes." <laughs> nice. Yeah. So that's cool. <laughs> it's a little it's a little things. Oh, but, hoodies in space. That's crazy. <laughs> no underwear. Oh, okay. We know that. There's no hmm. underwear in space. Hmm. George Lucas said that. So, you know yeah. that story, Catron, right? Oh yeah. Does Katrin know? 
Just in case you know that story. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> no underwear in space. <laughs> no underwear in space. I don't know that. I guess. Oh really? Okay, so really quick for those that don't know, um, Carrie Fisher went to George Lucas the first uh, in New Hope when they were filming, and um, said, you know, I don't have a bra for my costume. I need a bra. And George Lucas said, "Oh, there's no, there's no underwear in space, so we're not going to provide one for your costume." Yeah. So she there didn't wear. Yeah. But in Return of the Jedi, she pretty much wore a bra, so as her costume. That was a bikini. Come on, George. The metal bikini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there was a panel with Dave Filoni and John Favreau that was excellent. They talked about. Um, Mandalorian season three, Ahsoka a little bit. We've seen pictures of Ahsoka, and she actually looks a little different than she did in um, Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. She has longer head tails. She hadn't trimmed them back. I guess. I guess. Trim them every that was one of the people things people had problems with. <laughs> so it's in full swing. Continues tomorrow and Saturday. If it does Sunday or not, I don't remember. So we'll probably have more info by next week. Tonight they are watching. They're they're premiering Obi Wan Kenobi there. First two episodes. Mm-hmm. And then I can watch it, or we can watch it at two a.m. I guess probably. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah two a.m. Plenty so. of people will. I probably yeah. our mom has said, Oh, I'm staying up and watching it. I'm like, Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's like, let's go sit on the couch and I'll wake up to watch it if I fall asleep. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know you were that big of an Obi Wan fan. <laughs> He's a handsome feller. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> I will I, be uh, oh sorry, go ahead. I was I will not be staying no. up and watching we're, I we're probably won't heading be. out on a trip tomorrow so i'm gonna miss it and i'm probably gonna have to i gotta figure out how to watch it in a hotel this weekend because we won't watch it till like wednesday if i don't do that take a long bathroom break got an ipad or something i got a phone oh, i can take a roku and plug it into a tv or something and that's uh, true hotels in honor uh, of um obi-wan kenobi premiering this weekend, I will be re-releasing one of my crystals for those hey, that oh. care about that thing. Um, I haven't announced what I'm re-releasing, but I will here. Why not? If you're on the live stream, sure. let's do it. It's my chosen one crystal. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here, but if you remember, I released this one um, to another company, but this will be on my Etsy store. I'm Geek Shop. It's a little different color, and this time. Um, it glows. So, oh, well, it's going to be hard to see. You may here. even say it glows. Yeah, but it it goes great with black light, and it glows in the dark. <laughs> and it comes. This this is an exclusive right here. Uh-huh. It comes with a little card stand that you can display it on. Very nice. Hey. It's not just a normal card. It looks like. Um. I don't know if the card. This is the cards from the first one. I may change up the cards and get some new cards. Yeah. Um, but the card stands brand new. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. There's my plug. <laughs> Shameless plug. I'm Geek Shop on Etsy. <laughs> I'm Geek Shop on Etsy. Go buy stuff so I can have food. Oh Etsy. wow. <laughs> that important, man. <laughs> <Huh>. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Or you know. Disney tickets. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, another lightsaber. Another yeah. lightsaber. <laughs> I got a new lightsaber in the mail from our our cousin Sammy. Oh, so oh yeah. You said you were getting it. Well, what did what did it end up being? It is the um, reef. Do you call it reforged? I'm trying to remember what they call it. It's the one that Ray uses. It's Anakin's lightsaber. Mm-hmm. We want to go back that far that Ray uses and it gets broken in half and then she fixes it back together. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. got the leather strap around the middle of it. Cool. Do you remember that one, Kendra? Yeah. That's, yeah. It's from the movie that shall not be named. Um, 
Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> it's cool. That's your I favorite like one. Yeah. But I like Anakin's lightsaber. So I'll take it. I like it. She really just found like a broken one that was Anakin's and she <laughs> taped it together. And so. Hey, I'll take it. It looks, it's nice. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Anyways. Okay. So shall we talk? Um, Rescue Rangers. Of course. Indubitably. Yeah. And Cajun's going to sing the song real fast. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm not going to sing the song. That's all we get. That's all we, That's all we can afford. Reforged. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Winchester, in the comments. That's what I thought it was called. The Reforged. Um, all right. So. I've watched okay. Rescue Rangers, let's say, one and a half times. That's about what I've watched. <laughs> I, fe- I fell asleep. <laughs> Not because the movie was bad, because I was just super tired. So I had to go back and watch it. I fell asleep. I watched it with my kids and fell asleep. But then I woke up and it was over. And they're like, that was fun. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Hope it was appropriate. <laughs> so they saw the huge Chippendale dancing in the middle of it then. Oh, no. I did fast forward at the Big beginning. Dance I made sure that they didn't see the Chippendale reference. I just didn't want them to. Men with their shirts oh. off. Dancing around. They were like, just standing there. They were hairy. Yeah, There's just a picture. They didn't have so any hair. Jealous. They were jealous. We get it. They were smooth. Yeah, they were just jealous of them. No, they had like this the is big, not what real men look like. They had like the seventy yeah. stash. <laughs> <laughs> this is what real men look like. <laughs> <laughs> they had the they had the perms and the and the and the seventy stash, didn't they? Yeah, but then everything else was hairless. Yeah, yeah. But they uh, <laughs> they're shiny. <laughs> this is the whole conversation. <laughs> it's the whole show. Chip and We're just going to talk about Chip and Dale dancers. All right, so <laughs> what did you guys think of it? As the not the Chippendale part, but the movie as a whole. <laughs> um, it's good. It's good. <laughs> uh, I was I was actually very pleasantly surprised by it because uh, the trailers. When I saw the trailers, I was just like, ah, I don't know, and like the animation like looked okay, but it. It was it was weird because they were doing 3D, but trying to make it look 2D, but it still looked 3D. <laughs> and so that was kind of throwing me when I was seeing it. And so I was like, I wish it was did 2D. But like that, I completely like that kind of left my mind as the movie played out. Um, but I was yeah, I was surprised. I I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, I think it was definitely made for people our age that grew up yeah. on the show. <laughs> yeah that's, that was my thing it, it wasn't made for it's not a kids necessarily movie unless your kids have watched all the chippendale rescue rangers like my son has so like he got mm-hmm. a lot of the jokes he got into it he, he understands well the jokes about the, the show anyways but not the not the <laughs> older other jokes but but yeah it was it's not really meant to be a kids show not so much as like here's some nostalgia and and uh mm-hmm don't you remember this guy? Here's Butthead, you know. Here's, <laughs> I, I, it, I, to be honest, it started off slow for me. I was just like, this is terrible. <laughs> but it got better, right? It picked up, and mm-hmm. it, and uh, and then all of a sudden you hear them do the, their voices because you know in the in the preview you saw you heard them talk real deep and you're like, why is it like that? And it's they were faking it because they're actors. And you're like, oh, this makes sense now. I get it, you know. <laughs> so it. It yeah. it took a minute, but it, I, then I, I I did enjoy it, even though I did fall asleep. <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> these days. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed what I saw of it. <laughs> I think I between watching it twice, I think I got all the pieces of it. I don't remember seeing Butthead though. He it it was very quick. It was on a um uh, one of those park benches, yeah. and it, it was like a he was running for some office. He was a of, senator. Oh. A senator. Yes, yes, senator but, <laughs> that's uh, about right. Yeah. Uh, Cause, mm-hmm. And that's the thing. We'll talk about it probably in a little bit, but the, it's full of um, all these cameos, and you have to watch it a few times to, to catch everything. And I'm sure there's things mm-hmm. like the name of the school was Unionville. I'm sure that has to be something, you know, and, and uh, or like uh, just different 
um, references to different movies or different episodes and things like that all over the place. Mm-hmm. So. I just and I try, and I yes. think part of it of me watching it the first time was trying to find those things because I knew that would be in there, you know. Um, yeah. But then mm-hmm. the second time I did a lot more of watching that and, um, instead of working. But you know, yeah, it was it was it was a fun it was a fun little ride. Um, and not only do we have all these cameos of people, but um, we especially catering to me. I don't know so much Chris, maybe Chris. There was a a voice cameo from our past oh. and and we got to go on a great adventure got to saddle up our horses again oh yeah yeah and, uh, <laughs> yeah that was a surprise we, we were looking at the, the imdb while we we're watching it and my wife mm-hmm. was like steve mccarris chapman's in this movie i was like what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of blue is that right yeah 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 which he's done before for a video game i guess oh really yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, I think was it Bill Murray voiced him? Was it Bill Murray voiced him for the movie Jungle Book, the live action one? I think could be. Oh, I think so, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so they he probably wouldn't want to come back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What's this <laughs> that, garbage? That was that was funny though. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. The Chippendale movie. Chip the Chippendales. Dale. Not Chippendales. No, no, he was in the movie with the Chip. <laughs> Chip and the Chippendales. Chippendales. Because <laughs> they were at the beginning of the movie, so you got a trail to blaze. Yeah, <laughs> battle of your horses. <laughs> wow. hmm. So that was a blast. Wow. If you don't know who Stephen Curtis Chapman is, he is a, a contemporary Christian music artist. Yeah, and when we were younger, he was a big deal. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if he's still is he still he making? does he still do, we saw him I mean it's been at least maybe not quite ten years but um, we saw him in a Christmas show here in Memphis and it was really good he but I think he still does music so well, there we go yeah there we go there you go there we go anyways that's it that's it for this night <laughs> <laughs> that's the shortest episode and ever well, I mean, we can get into the, like yeah, a few of them since we're talking like little cameo things like yeah. that if we want to get into it. Cause, what yeah, was your I favorite mean, that, cameo, Chris? Oh, favorite cameo. Mm. Oh, that's a hard one. There was lots of little funny stuff. Um, was it? Hold on, let me see. Let me guess. Okay, Darkwing Duck. Was it? Um, hmm, I'm looking through the list here. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it um jock and gus from cinderella <laughs> no Probably. was it marie from the cats no oh, it was just marie's head yeah <laughs> i don't know probably one of the funniest things i laughed at that was i guess you can call the cameo uh, was when they went to Uncanny Uncanny Valley, and yeah. and the cats were in the alley from the movie <laughs> Cats. Yes, I laughed so much <laughs> at that. Which versions yeah. of these cats were it? Was it? Is the is the movie version? No, which which movie version? Cats. Was it? No, you don't get the. Oh. <laughs> was it the the rear oh. end version? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get a quick. I didn't get a good enough look. I'll have to go in and, and look at the rear ends to see. That was my family friendly. <laughs> You're describing. Uh, but I mean that and uh, the Batman versus ET. Yes. Yeah, we had a comment really earlier. So Vance uh, commented earlier says Batman was busy fighting ET when we were talking about Batman <laughs> and uh, Val Kilmer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what did he say? E.T. friend or something. What What was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was, I mean, they even had like a character from South Park in there. Um, oh, Scrooge, yeah, Scrooge McDuck, of course, was in there. And yeah. it was voiced by David Tennant. Oh, was it? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was There's great. a I, bunch. So uh, while, while you're looking at that, the, when they went down Main Street on that one part, is it, mm-hmm. it looked a lot like... Um, uh, like Magic Kingdom Main Street. Did you all think that when you saw <laughs> yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I thought that was pretty funny. Um, of course, the 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 shop on the corner, the food store, it was uh, the cheese shop. It wasn't a hot dog like Casey's cor- <laughs> corner. Yeah, <laughs> that was still funny. And I thought that was funny that the uh, the um, the Muppet that was in there, what I can't even think of his name right now, that was st- selling the cheese had a different accent when he actually went back behind the. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> uh, that was voiced by Keegan Michael Key. Nice. Oh. So they did a good job with that. Key and uh, Peel. B- Bjornsson, the cheesemonger. Yeah. <laughs> I, I loved on that scene that they had the mom from Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. And, I'm, and, and the thing I was thinking, okay, what shady things is she doing? Because supposedly everybody on this main street does shady stuff behind the scenes. Uh, so yeah. what is the mom from Phineas and Ferb doing <laughs> behind the scenes? What is she getting into? <laughs> You'll never know. You'll You'll never know. know. Dan Poppenmeyer, the guy who created the characters and still works for Disney, had no clue that she was in the movie or that a version of Phineas was in the movie. That's crazy. (laughs) And he was like, he's like, I don't understand. They could have told me. I wouldn't mind. I don't care. (laughs) I just think it's funny that I still work there and no one told me. (laughs) Well, it ma- it makes you wonder if they told other people then, like the ones that don't even know them, right? That were on there, and <laughs> they did. Mm-hmm. I thought that I was think funny. They, they made slight adjustments to them, like they did with Ugly Sonic, where they didn't have <laughs> to tell anybody. Ugly Sonic was hilarious. Yeah. See, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, the sl- them just going into the mouth up close, slow motion. Of them just watching him talk and just staring at the teeth. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> so good. It's just like just little stuff like that just sprinkled throughout the movie. Oh, yeah. just made me love it. Um, I, and again, um, Seth Rogen does so many animated movies that yeah. I'm kind of tired of it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Seth Rogen pops up in an animated movie. And I love they kind of took a dig at that. In yeah. this, at the at the comic convention, where like his main character in the movie falls, and then like every character that he's ever voiced in an animated movie pops up and asks if he's okay. If he's okay, that was that was good. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> that character he played with as the the like dwarf or whatever when he, he was mm-hmm. looking straight. You know, that, of course we saw that in the, <laughs> okay, in the trailers, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. That was that was a great part. I'm looking right at you. Look right at you. <laughs> <laughs> was the polar bear the Coca-Cola polar bear? That's, was that? that's yeah, what I said. It's the Coca-Cola yeah. polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> it made me think of um uh Zoo Zootopia. I said Zoolander. Uh Zootopia with the the polar bears that were yeah. uh, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. that worked for the um oh, the mole uh gangster guy and I thought that maybe that was who was going to be the behind everything. <laughs> Not uh, Peter Pan. <laughs> was there an end credit scene? I think there was something because oh, we no. it says Vin Diesel in credits cameo. Oh no! So during the credits, they just they were popping stuff up uh, as the credits. Like yeah. Gummy Gummy from the Gummy Bears was sitting on a park bench, and uh, yeah, the Rescue Rangers reboot yeah. popped up, and it had Vin Diesel in it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I remember that. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the. Um, why not? We'll go ahead and talk about. It. Why not? Probably the only part that I sort of didn't care for, which I sort of thought was in bad taste. They did it anyways. They made the villain of this story, which I get. It, it, I get why. They made the villain Peter Pan. Spoiler. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, we've said so many spoilers throughout. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, I should have said that. Um, and it was an older Peter Pan. With um, scruffy mustache, I guess, or yeah, beard and, like me, basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that the reason he was the bad guy, the big bad guy, was that um, he started maturing, and Disney wouldn't hire him anymore because he was going through puberty, basically, and. Mm-hmm. That's why he's turned to this life of crime, uh, because Disney wouldn't ha- rehire him. Well, the thing that I don't that has got a lot of people 
sort of weirded out about it is that's what actually happened to the real life voice of Peter Pan. <laughs> is that he started maturing and Disney wouldn't use him anymore. Mm-hmm. He turned to a life of crime and then he died like broken like in his 30s, I think. So, not to be Debbie mm-hmm. Downer, but I was like, oh gosh. Like, so either they knew this or it was a weird coincidence. Yeah, I, I didn't know any of that going into yeah, the uh, So I didn't bother me. I mean, yeah. Well, it's, you didn't know about it then, yeah. 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 Bother me. So, um, but yeah, I, it does make you wonder did they know or did they not know or did they kind of try and play off that a little bit? Uh, I don't I know. Mean, maybe it, they did it so people look into it and go, hey, look what how horrible <laughs> Hollywood is. Yeah, this is the truth. Um. <laughs> I mean, I think taking that that part of the story out of it, I think it was funny because you you think of Peter Pan as this little boy that's um, you know never gets old or whatever. And uh, mm-hmm. of course, if you see if you've seen Hook, you know, um, yeah. comes Robin Williams, right? But um, yeah. <laughs> but it, you know, it, it like I said, didn't think about it during that time. It was funny, but it is it's also interesting that none of the other characters that were portrayed. They didn't age, right? It was yeah, like he yeah. was the only one that aged in the whole thing. You know, it's like because he left granted, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like Chip and Dale. You know, you, you assumed they got older, but they you, they didn't show that they got older, right? They yeah, and and have, technically they should have been probably a lot older because they were in the Disney 90s, cartoons yeah. before. Chip yeah, that's true. Before yeah, Rusty that's true. Yeah, it's kind of like that didn't happen apparently. That didn't happen. That's not in this universe. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Let now it that. didn't. Uh, so the 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 um, reason why uh, Dale was leaving the show or going to do something else, he was doing the the double O Dale, right? And yeah. I, wasn't that a character that they actually did, or am I just so imagining that? They did an episode of okay called Double O Chipmunk, where he like basically looked like what he looked like in that poster, and yeah. it was like a him and Zipper kind of like. Yeah adventure and he had like some gadgets and stuff in his thing because uh, yeah i specifically remember that because the i think about every disney afternoon show basically did that episode tailspin <laughs> did an episode like that that's funny um darkwing duck did an episode like that <laughs> and in fact darkwing duck before it became darkwing duck was going to be double o duck uh, okay um and it was going to be a show like that but they couldn't uh, but apparently the 007, like the double O is actually like licensed, like so no one else can use it uh-huh. without paying them. So they got rid of that. They axed it. And that's why they did Darkwing Duck. But yeah, like every Disney afternoon did an episode like that. And the Darkwing Duck episode, it was Launchpad. That was double O Duck or whatever. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. See, Chris remembers all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so another, I mean, I'm sure there were other call outs for the show too, right? But another one was at the end of every episode, or it seemed like a lot of them, they were always laughing. At, and then oh, yeah. so <laughs> that happened when they were watching the part with uh, Fat Cat or whatever his name was. And mm-hmm. and they're just keep laughing. They all kind of, they're like, okay, are we done? <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, they just keep laughing. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then they do that at the end of the movie, right? Or another part, they just keep laughing. Yeah. Lot, so yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. What did you think of Gadget and um, that was Zipper. weird. Zip, yeah, Zip. Zip. What's that was Zipper. funny. Zipper. Zipper, that was funny. Oh yeah, my goodness. <laughs> they had the weirdest, a little unexpected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they, uh, I mean, I did like they they got they had the original voice actor for Zipper come back until he actually started speaking in the um. In the deep voice. Yeah, which which is the guy from the commercials, the uh, intro commercials. Uh, that guy. Um, <laughs> and uh, Tress McNeil, who originally did the voice of Gadget, uh, she does. She's a huge voice actor. She does probably any show that you know of. She's probably done a voice in it. Like she was Dot in the Warner Brothers. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, and Maniacs. Um, All she states. did. Yeah, she they brought her back. What was odd for me though, they had um they had uh, Monterey Jack 
but they didn't use the voice actor for Mario Jack. They hired Eric Bana, <laughs> the actor, to play Monterey Jack. But the voice actor for Mario Jack did several other voices that in the show weird. because he was the voice of Fat Cat. He did Fat Cat in this. He's currently the voice of Winnie the Pooh. He did the Winnie the Pooh or whatever. Um, uh, I wonder he, why. Uh, he he was dark. I mean, he's the voice of Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck yeah. showed up. He was like he did so many voices in the movie, except for the one, the main character one, which he did. I don't know. That was a little weird to me. <laughs> that is weird because <laughs> it wasn't that big of a necessary role anyway. He didn't yeah. say a whole lot, and they hired Eric Bana. <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh, favorite bootleg character? Oh, favorite. Oh, man. <laughs> I got all the questions today. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to give me a I think the Pooh there. character was the funniest one to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Pooh was, was really funny. Yeah. Um, uh, Pete as Aladdin. That was good. That was funny. Yeah. Um, let's see. Silence. The weirdest <laughs> one was like, when they opened up the the crate and everybody came out, a boo came out and had like the body of like almost Donkey Kong, I think. <laughs> that was a little weird. Uh, <laughs> and Phineas came out as like from Phineas and Ferb, like half bird. Yeah, he's like the dodo from the Looney Tunes, almost looking. <laughs> that was sort of funny. Um. Yeah. Anyways, well, you can think on it. You think it's. On it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Monterey Jack with the Dumbo ears was good. That was. Good. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. That was cool. The when uh, when Chip gets his ear replaced, I thought that was so was weird looking. Ear. That was yeah. funny. I was like, oh, it's so I, weird looking. I I found it. I just plucked it out at one point, and his other ear grew back. And yeah, yeah. So like, why didn't he do out. that earlier? Right. Yeah, <laughs> they all could have others there, do that. Mm-hmm. I did like that when the, when they discovered the bootlegging place, like the big wall of just pieces from other. Yeah, parts. actually, I I had to pause that screen and just go <laughs> up to the TV and just look and see what I could find. I was like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> and Mickey Mouse's hand, his hand or glove. Poor Mickey. Yeah, Pink Panther's like n- snout. <laughs> and Jimmy Neutron's hair. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Sora's hair and also Keyblade. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh, oh well. What are you gonna do? Um, my son enjoyed uh, the part where he dresses like MC Hammer and does the hammer dance. Yeah. He had no idea that what that was called the <laughs> hammer dance, but he was he's like that dance he did was that was that was good. Back your pants. Do that. <laughs> I tried to do it myself, but it, he's like, no, that's that's not quite it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like to stand up and try right now? I can't. Oh, I don't have any pants on. <laughs> oh, well, that's not what you know. <laughs> good, good to know. Pantsless NC Hammer dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here comes the hammer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, one cameo we didn't talk about. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, was Paul Rudd. Yes. yes. <laughs> Aunt. <laughs> Aunt Aunt. Man. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that was good. I didn't expect that. Yeah. <laughs> there was I love I love it. I love that he's he's at this comic book convention which has a lot of has been animated cartoons all around him and then Paul yeah. Rudd. And then Paul Rudd. Yeah. He's yeah. like their star star guest. You know, most of these conventions mm-hmm. they have one big star. He's yeah. the one. And then the rest are still <laughs> stars. <laughs> Just not as big for the current stardom, I guess. I don't, know. I don't know. So that was his place. He was the big star. Did the convention have a name? I don't know if it did. It was some kind it of. It did, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I'm looking. I forget what it's called. It did. Yeah. Don't remember what it was. Fancon? Fancon? Could be. 
Fan Con. That's it. Yeah, Fan Con. <laughs> at the fan. Well, it just says at the Fan Con. I don't. I don't know fan if the man plays his <laughs> cost plays his Thor. And I didn't know the Chip and Dale were extras in the Full House episode. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, let's go back and watch Full House and see if I can see them. You didn't mm-hmm. see it. No, no, no. I'm saying like the real Full House. Oh, I know. I, okay, <laughs> I was gonna say that earlier. Is it looked like it could have actually been that way. You're just like, is that really? Are they? Are they? In that? I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, are they actually in there? <laughs> uh, um, so, so people some, were saying that this is how a multiverse movie should be done, and that <laughs> Doctor Strange should take notes from this movie. Oh wow! What did okay. you? What did you think about that? I don't what know do you think that. about that I, stuff? I mean, mm-hmm. if you're going that, then they just need to take notes from Roger Rabbit. I guess that's yeah. where this took notes from. That's right. I got a question <laughs> about that later. But I just thought it was funny that people were like, yeah, this is the way Doctor Strange should have been. Like, this many characters. Just this many crazy. Which I don't think Catron has still seen Doctor Strange. I haven't seen it yet, but I mean, just so, thinking about like the um, the hype leading up to it and the the, th- the trailers, you know, you, and that's what you kind of expect is you're going to see all these characters in it. So I have, I have no idea, but yeah, hopefully I I'll get to see it. Give any spoilers, but sometime. It's not what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we'll do that on another episode, maybe. I don't know. It's, yeah, if I can eventually see it. You see it, maybe we'll do it. I, I thought, my two cents, I thought it was okay. I liked it. I didn't dislike <laughs> it. it was okay. Ryan hated it. I well, and you, Ryan, you, you, said I hated it. <laughs> you really liked the first Doctor Strange, so that, right? Yeah. So totally that says a lot it. that you didn't, you thought this was okay. No, it was okay. Yeah. He hated it. Wasn't it wasn't bad. I liked it. It wasn't bad. No. But I think it was great. But it, he's saying it wasn't good. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. I said I think it coming great. off of Spider Man No Way Home, which I thought was a fantastic movie, yeah. this one sort of underperformed to that one. It saying. didn't stink. <laughs> it just wasn't as good as Spider Man yeah. Far From Home. So it's pretty bad. <laughs> I never said that. Fine, whatever. It's going to go outside and step on a bee. <laughs> Like I'm, in, I'm being I'm put on trial here. <laughs> that it was okay. It was good, just not great. So not good. No, I never said that. <laughs> Anyways, back to Chip and Dale. Okay, final question on Chip and Dale because I think we've covered pretty much everything, unless we just want to go frame by frame. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what? Well, so I got I, the blue okay. character. The the that was the uh, oh, police detective. Gumby like was that supposed? To, yeah. It was supposed to be a, like a gun, a bootleg Gumby it was or like something. A, yeah, it was, he was like a Gumby character. Like, yeah, uh, I'm guessing like they probably couldn't they couldn't actually use Gumby per se. Yeah, yeah. But it's it was just it was a different animation style, something that they could have fun with, um, like a, like a claymation character, Gumby character. Yeah, wasn't there like a Gumby character and, that sort of looked like him though? Could be it was blue. There might have been. I, um, I, I did like how he took fingerprints where he dusted it, put his hand on it, and yeah. then shaved off yeah. his hand. Like, put that in evidence. That was yeah. good. I, I mean, I thought it was really neat that they did, like you said, the different kind of animation style. It, it, was, it was weird how it mixed in with everything else. You see this stop motion um, character moving around, but everybody else is moving normal, you know? And it, I thought mm-hmm. that was a really neat <laughs> touch uh, to do that. So I'm glad they did yeah. that. That and the Muppet and that in which I could have sworn the Muppet was CG animated at times. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. There's, there were times that it looked like he was. <laughs> they still made it look like it was a puppet, though, because like yeah. the way he knocked on the door, it was, you know, it was real awkward. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that, that could be animated, too. Who knows? But um, they, so they showed the video game in there as well. Did you see it playing yeah. in the background in that one in the, uh, in the garage Ellie's room or whatever? Yeah. Uh, did you all play that game much? I, I, I think I we rented it once. It. But I yeah, I think we, we had rented it. it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't we, think had we had it. it. We rented it and it was very hard. Like most. Yeah, yeah most of those Disney, Disney games. <laughs> Aladdin. Very we had hard. that one. It was hard. We There's, had Aladdin. That was very hard. Yeah. There's a. Um, um, 
gosh, I can't think of what you call it. Uh, there's a game you can buy that has all of this, the um, Saturday after or afternoon yeah. cartoons, whatever they call it. And it has yeah. Chip and Dale and um, DuckTales. Um, Duck yeah. And something else. I don't know. Maybe Aladdin. I don't know. There wasn't Aladdin. Um, but anyways, Why it has a few make games. those games so hard. I mean, I mean a lot of that's the thing. A lot of Nintendo games were hard. Uh, yeah, they were, they hard. were, they were, the way they made them, it was like they were puzzles in a way because there were patterns, right, to do certain yeah. things, mm-hmm. and they, and it was done very programmatically, right. You've got these levels that are kind of random, the way they made them, uh, but it it's uh, so it, there were all these patterns to do these things and very almost again a puzzle that you had to figure out what what's the key to get to getting through because you could just jump 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 you know do do these certain yeah. moves where it's like today's games you have to um you have to think a little more or just or really just grind away at it right you're not um and you, i mean in a way you had to grind at those games too but it, a lot of them like I, i've tried to play the goonies game not too long ago and it that, game was so bad but um a lot of, a lot of <laughs> yeah. them were and it's like it's you think it's going to be real fun to play these retro games and you get all excited and then you play them and it's like this is hard i don't like this yeah. you know well, they, bring me something else have, you know they didn't have save points or anything yeah like that. that's like, true you, yeah, you that's died you had to do it all over well, again yeah and you only had a number of lives too right yeah and, and um that's most games <laughs> post that's it. the um I don't know what year it was, and Ryan, your your microphone's doing something funny, but um, the, there was at some point when I guess like the newer generations, like PlayStation, had um, some games, you know, that were more adventure style, and it's like they could uh, be save points and things like that, I guess. But it, it's but yeah, a lot of those with especially with the original Nintendo, Nintendo uh, were very difficult, and you you had to start all the way over either at that that level. Or all the way at the beginning again, or something like that. So it was. There's a lot that I never finished. Yeah. 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 I just remember having to collect apples or something and ship it yep. down. Came. Yeah, there were apples. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you did <laughs> with them. Robotic dogs. I yeah. Do them at the robotic dogs. With the chompers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, last question. Well, we can have more questions. <laughs> Um, I was trying to get those in before the, you had your last question. No, this is the last question I have. That's what I'm saying. The last question I have, and then you guys can ask whatever questions or say what yours. How would how does this movie compare to Roger Rabbit for you? Oh, I mean, Roger Rabbit's still the best. The best. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's it's Roger Rabbit. I you can't yeah. like you, I don't think you can compare. I mean, it's it's similar kind of world or whatever, but Roger Rabbit, I was just so kind of almost groundbreaking yeah at the time like Very you had really like I to ask I mean, you'd, you'd seen like cartoons and real life overlay and and stuff before but not like that yeah and it just it it made everything like oh well, cartoons are real this is awesome yeah, <laughs> yeah Which, they got the original voice actor for roger rabbit to come in and do the line <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's doing the roger rabbit mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well cool do you guys have any other uh thoughts questions about the movie um i guess i got one maybe. um how, how did you feel that it was even though it was called rescue rangers it was really chip and dale movie and the other characters were more sidelined did you care about that at all did that bother you oh. Hmm. I guess I didn't like that it was they were trying to get Monterey Jack because I he he was such a fun character in the show and it's like you only get a very small window of him and and then also you don't really get gadget that much either right mm-hmm. uh, I mean they 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 do a little bit I guess, do you, but do you think that was sort of like an inside joke for other sequels or reboots or stuff where they bring in like a couple of the characters and then as the main characters and then the rest of the people from that movie series or TV show are like brought in at the end or different points just to say hi, basically. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the other characters were more plot points. 
than yeah. anything like that. They use yeah, they use Monterey Jack as the MacGuffin kind of yeah. thing, the thing to get him. And then uh, they brought Gadget and Zipper in to basically solve a problem for them yeah. to to overcome a hurdle. And yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it it didn't necessarily bother me, but I kinda wish they were a little in it a little bit more. Yeah. yeah I think they just used the <laughs> The Rescue Rangers name for nostalgia. Yeah, they well, use it as a kind of a vehicle. Yeah. I think they had to call it that because it's it's a behind the scenes in some ways. And mm-hmm. the story of that, because like you said earlier, there were, Chip and Dale were a cartoon with Disney before uh, this show, right? So it, it was specifically that version of Chip and Dale and not uh, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Chip and Dale that don't wear clothes. These films dressed like um, Magnum P.I. and Indiana, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. Is is my stuff doing it again? No, I think it's right, mm-hmm. right now. Okay, good. Don't touch it. Okay, okay. Anyways. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Um, is this a repeat watch? Are you going to watch it again? I'll probably watch it again. I don't know if I'll watch it soon, but yeah. I wouldn't mind watching it again. Cool. It's, it's it's fun. I, I'll I'll more than likely I'll probably put it on while I'm doing something else. Yeah, then. in the background. And the, from the after the second viewing, I don't yeah. know if I'll actually just sit down and watch it again. Yeah. So yeah. there you go, straight from Chris's mouth. This is a good background movie. <laughs> but that's the hard thing about for it. The it's, second viewing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> because I mean, you can you can have it on this background, but there's so much to see and um try to catch in there because i think it's worth watching mm-hmm. just to catch all those things right maybe even yeah. look at the list that we found there's a list on uh, disney.fandom.com it's the list of cameos and chip and dale rescue rangers and um uh, it it's kind of fun to see all those things um i've probably watched it enough at this point uh, like i said one about one and a half times and then I'm, I'm i'm probably good i mean there's plenty of other content yeah. out there that i mean i liked it I've heard a lot of people say it's the uh, one of the best movies this year, and I'm I'm like uh, maybe <laughs> not, but uh, but that I mean that's that's everybody's got their own opinion. That's totally fine, and um, but I, I yeah, it's that's probably the only time. Uh, it, maybe down the road, if it, maybe I, I don't know, but it Chris is it the best really good the best uh, multiverse movie this year. Oh no! I don't. I don't, I don't I mean, it takes a really good movie to sit down and watch it again anymore. Yeah. When we were growing up, I mean, like there was content coming out, but it was, it was like, yeah, during the summer there may have been like a couple movies that you want to see, and of course, like when you're growing up, VHS started being big and stuff like that. And you could put it on, and you didn't really have like all this streaming, right? and everything now it's just like there's so much content out there it's like do i sit down and watch this again it's overwhelming or do i watch all this other stuff i've been wanting to watch so it's yeah yeah anymore it takes something really special yeah to to watch or getting covid and being stuck in a room that's when you Mm -hmm. watch (laughs) all the harry potter movies again all the lord (laughs) of the rings extended edition all the hobbit movies um, what else did I watch? <laughs> Those are all very special movies. Yeah, they yeah. Are. I enjoyed so we, them all. Greatly. We watched uh, the Greatest Showman the other day at, uh, as a rewatch, a and I've one. seen that a few times, and I was like, "It's such a great movie." You know, that's that's an example of something I can I can watch over and over again, right? But there's I've thought about this before, you know, because it when before, like you said, before streaming, if you were flipping around channels and you're like, "Oh, there's this whatever movie," there's Top Gun or something. Um, it, I'll sit and watch it, you know, but it's like, I can go watch mm-hmm. it today cause it's on some <laughs> streaming channel and I actually did turn it on not too long ago just because the new movie's coming out. But, um, mm-hmm. but, it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to go watch it more than likely, unless there's just, mm-hmm. you know, I, I like the movie, but it, yeah. it, there's, and there's plenty of those, right? If they're on, I'll watch it. If it's already on, if somebody's already watching it, I'm in, I'm into it. But, um, <laughs> there's, there's, I mean, it's more than a handful, but there's just there's mm-hmm. only some movies that you can go and just yeah. turn on. Like we've we've rewatched all the Star Wars at this point, but yeah. And then there's, sometimes there's movies you haven't seen in forever. 
Yeah. And you're like, I kind of want to sit down and watch that again. Yeah. Like Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You did watch that, didn't you? Yes, we did. And it holds up. It's a great movie. Excellent. <laughs> it's yeah. so ridiculous. and so funny. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think that's that's the movie. If they did a remake of that one, I'd be okay with because I would mind seeing. You want to be in it? You don't want I want to be in it. it. Well, I uh, want I want them to get Neil Patrick Harris to be Bernie. Because <laughs> uh, on on How I Met Your Mother, there's a running joke of one of his like ways to pick up women. He wants to pull a weekend at Bernie's, but it's a weekend at Barney's. That's his character's name. <laughs> and so I want them to do a Weekend at Bernie's reboot with Neil Patrick Harris as, as Bernie. I think that would be great. All right. Cool. Okay. Really final, really final question here. <laughs> what Disney Afternoon character do you think should get the next treatment? Darkwing Duck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Write that down so I don't forget. Darkwing Okay. It's my favorite Disney afternoon show. I like Darkwing Duck. I mean, I I can't even let you finish that sentence. I got to go with Darkwing Duck. I was gonna say, what Disney afternoon character should get um, canceled and never done anything? <laughs> That's not what you said. That was what I was going to say. That's He's not what you're, off. That's not what you're <laughs> okay, Trude, who, who should get the next treatment? Disney be a afternoon. Disney afternoon. Man, I don't know. Like, yeah. um. He's like, I didn't watch any of that garbage. <laughs> I, I don't wow. remember, to be Who's honest. I wasn't G.I. Joe. Well, there was, I mean, there was Gummy Bears. There was yeah, Tailspin. There was yeah. Goof Troop. Yeah. See, I was there thinking was Duck Goofy Tales. Or something, but, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, they've done Goof, or, I mean, not Goofy, but um, Duck Tales recently, like the show. They've yeah. read it, Which was really good. They did yeah. a good job with yeah. Duck Tales. I don't know. I mean, this is one I would have picked. I just, I guess I've Quack been pretty cool if they did something a little bit different. But. <laughs> okay. Oh. Gargoyles? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I was going to say gargoyles. Okay. A live okay. action gargoyles. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? I think that would be cool. I loved gargoyles. Oh, yeah. It's cool. Great. I saw an action... Uh, a new action figure of Gargoyles. Yes, they have amazing. several. They they've they've got Goliath out. They have his um, it's his name backwards, I think, but it's like the villain Goliath, and his colors are kind of reversed. They have yeah. him, so it's basically the same toy, but just different coloring. But they also have Bronx. Uh, so they've got Demona. Um, they got Ed Asner's character, which was it Brooklyn? Maybe. No, it's not Brooklyn. But I think they have Brooklyn. But um, Hudson, Hudson. That's it. Um, yeah, yeah they're they're, totally they're doing all those. Like I saw one in Target. Like they have them in Target. Yeah, mm. they're cool. They're really cool. They're expensive though. Yeah, they're that's cool. why I didn't think about getting it. <laughs> that's that's not cheap. Well, during the <laughs> the end credits, Goliath from Gargoyles appears actually uh, in the Chip and Dale movie. I missed that. One. It yeah. says on seen on Billboard during end credits. So. Oh, on a billboard. Announcing their new movie. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> They've apparently been trying to get a Gargoyles thing started up for yeah. some time, but it's never happened. It'd be cool. It'd have to be a good, like, it have to be a good story. It couldn't be, like, you know, halfway trying. I want a good, really good <laughs> Gargoyles live action. Mm-hmm. Yes. Make it happen, Disney. I know you listen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get all the cast from Star Trek Next Generation back in. Whatever Basically, most of that show was Star Trek Next Generation That's actors. <laughs> well, cool. There we go. Let us know in the comments or um, on I Am Greek. I Am Greek. I Am Greek. <laughs> I Am Greek. It's our new Facebook group. I Am Greek. I am group on Facebook. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Anyways, you guys got anything else before we sign off here? For the night? I don't think so. Comic Blues is coming up, so if you want to see us live, hopefully we'll be there. We will either be there live inside <laughs> Comic Blues or we'll be there live outside. Yeah, stalking. <laughs> In the alley out back. <laughs> so you'll find us somewhere, either in a certain hotel 
in the, the Hilton. Um, the it's not the VIP. What's it? Uh, there's a um, oh gosh, what do you call it? There's like a um, it is like executive lounge or something like that where you can in a live show in the executive lounge. Orge divorce after that evening and then (laughs) uh, um, breakfast, free breakfast. That's what we need to do. Just go sit up there and when all these celebrities, we just say, hey, uh, so you're here for the show? Okay, we'll mic you up. We'll get here. We go. (laughs) Right there we go. We talk to your agent. It's okay. Everything's good. Just come over and sit down. Mm -hmm. Yes. how it works right yes most of the time <laughs> that's how you get kicked out of a hotel yeah. really fast <laughs> anyway, so we'll be hopefully at comic police waiting to hear back fingers crossed anyways all right well i've enjoyed our time talking about chippendale and reminiscing about disney afternoon and all that fun stuff i look forward to seeing more stuff from star wars celebration See what else comes out here in the next couple days. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe some new stuff. Anyways, this has been episode 238. I'm Geek, and we'll be back next week. Something new, something fun, and of course, something geek. Bye bye.